what's up everybody welcome back to my channel amelia talks in today's video i will be showing you all how i accomplish this super natural look for work so if you guys are interested and you want to know what i use then make sure you keep watching everybody welcome back so before we get started i like to moisturize my face and i use two different products the first one is the fenty skin fat water and i just take a few drops and i spread it evenly across my face it takes a few seconds to dry and it smells absolutely amazing the second thing i like to hydrate my face with is these elf hydrating booster drops and it just makes my skin feel so good and i just take one to two pumps and i apply it to each side of my face and i spread that evenly as well and it takes between i would say five to ten seconds to dry and i got these drops from walgreens but everything that i am using in today's video i will go ahead and list them below so the very first thing that i like to do when i apply my makeup is my eyebrows i know some people like to do it after but i do it before and i will take a spoolie which the spoolie usually lasts two to three weeks and then i just toss it and grab another one the spoolies can be purchased from sally's in a pack but i am just brushing my brows in an upward motion and i will be using the anastasia brow freeze and just taking my spoolie and dabbing it in there and getting as much product as i think i will need which you will know you'll know how much product you need to use if you're not using enough then they won't really stick but if you you know you're using too much then you can just wipe the excess product away which I usually do by using a makeup wipe so I am doing the left and the right brow with the Anastasia brow freeze and just taking it and applying it again as you can see my brow hairs are going up and over and then I will clean them up followed by a makeup wipe to wipe away the excess brow freeze from the top and the bottom of my eyebrows And you don't have to get your eyebrows perfect, especially if you are just now learning how to do your eyebrows. And you don't necessarily have to do your eyebrows before you go to work every morning if you choose not to. It's just I'm used to doing it every day. So I just like the look and the Anastasia Brow Freeze lasts all day. So as you can see, I am taking my makeup wipe and wiping away the excess Brow Freeze. Now, I really don't know how people do their brows after they finish with their makeup. Like, I've seen on YouTube videos where people do their brows after. But yeah, I'm not trying that. I'm going to just stick with what I know. So next, I'm going to take a brow pencil and a foundation stick in the name of Toasted or Roasted almond and i got this from the mall as well and you're basically going to paint the foundation when i say paint i'm just saying outline and i say paint because i feel like that's what i'm doing with the brush i'm just painting a line underneath to clean them up but you're just taking the brush and dipping it in the foundation and you are outlining or like i said painting underneath your brows and on top of the brows on top of the brows so you can get them basically clean them up a little bit okay so next i will be using the maybelline fit me concealer in the number 55 it is called hazelnut for underneath my eyes and the bridge of my nose now i feel like i have dark rings underneath my eyes that's just me and i will use my beauty blender which i really dislike using beauty blenders and the reason why is because when i am getting ready for work i just feel like it is so time consuming so um as we get further into this video you will start seeing me use my makeup brush instead of the beauty blender so y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all would prefer beauty blenders or if y'all would prefer using makeup brushes and which one is more time consuming for you 
Next, I will be followed by the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the number 365. It is called Nutmeg. And I know y'all see me pouring this on my hand, but I already have a pump in one of my foundation bottles. And I actually have it in the MAC foundation bottle. Um, I haven't switched between pumps because I really like using my MAC foundation on the weekends. But I know y'all are probably thinking like I am wasting so much product by pouring this on my hand. And I know I just didn't want to take the time to go buy another pump, but I am using my brush, my makeup brush. And again, I just like using the makeup brush instead of the beauty blender. I just feel like it is, just doesn't take as long. Again, we are getting ready for work. This is a natural go to work beginner friendly makeup tutorial and so if you know you're going to work it usually only take me five between five not even ten whole minutes to do my makeup so if i'm using a beauty blender i'm quite sure it's going to take me a lot of time but i am just using the makeup brush so like i said before let me know which one y'all prefer using the makeup brush or the beauty blender And I have a little product left over on my hand, so I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and wipe it completely off. And now what I'm going to be doing is using my Fenty Beauty Truffle Matchstick around the dark spots that I had on my face because before I applied my concealer and my foundation, I had those little dark spots. And really, even though you can't really see them, I am still using this Fenty Beauty Matchstick because it just blends it a little bit more. And I absolutely love it. I love Rihanna products. And in the beginning of my video, I showed you guys the fat water. I love all of Rihanna products. I think what I'm going to do is slowly but surely just buy all of her beauty line and her skin line, okay? Okay, y'all, so I love setting my face or my makeup with some powder. So what I'm going to do is just put some Mary Kay um, foundation powder on the left and right side of my face and down the bridge of my nose. And I'm just going to let that sit until I do my eyebrows and come back to it and blend it out with my makeup brush. Listen, y'all, we are almost done. We are almost done with the beat face because last but not least, I am going to use this Too Faced Better Than Sets mascara on my eyelashes, which I purchased this from Sephora's. And I will leave this in the description box because this is a very popular mascara. I don't do the eyelashes. The only time I apply eyelashes is when I am doing a photo shoot. And the military is not big on lashes honestly they are unauthorized women in the military cannot wear lashes they are unauthorized per ar670-1 but listen we have females walking around with the false lashes on and if that's your prerogative in your business by all means kudos and if you wear lashes to work then by all means do what you do boo. but i don't wear lashes i just use my mascara and i try to get my my eyes looking a little or my lashes looking a little full so since i allowed my um, foundation powder to bake or set on my face it is time to blend it out because i am almost done with y'all listen it doesn't take that long trust and believe me and i always try to go underneath my neck just to blend it in a little bit my husband had asked a question about why do females do makeup and their face is completely a different color from their neck and i was just like listen babe listen first of all we don't want to get makeup all on our shirt okay but i just go a little bit down my neck and i am just cleaning up my face with the powder with my brush and that's pretty much it but as you can see i have my own amelia talks lip gloss and if you guys are wanting to purchase my lip gloss then please make sure you check out the link in the description box below to purchase my fabulous clear hydrating lip gloss last but not least i will be setting my face with some mac setting spray and i just do a uh, two to three pumps and boom that is pretty much it i continue getting ready for work and the setting spray dries and in like a few seconds and there you have it a natural beat 
face. If you guys have any questions, then please let me know. But I feel like that didn't take long at all. Again, it only takes me like five to ten minutes to do my makeup. And this is just like my everyday look. So let me know how y'all are going to work. Do y'all do anything extra? Am I doing something wrong? Um, were you able to achieve or accomplish this look? And if so, please leave your comments in the description box below. But until next time, everyone, this is Amelia Talks. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you all will be notified. Thanks.